I recently went on a week-long trip to explore Nagaland and the Hornbill Festival. If you were to ask me how was my experience, I would simply have to say it was epic. So join me on my solo travel to the land of festivals, the land of the Nagas, the culturally rich Nagaland. What's up everyone, this is Chandan Sarma, welcome back to my channel. Meghalaya was fun, it was really awesome. I'm at Polo Ground right now. Today is 29th of November and I'm heading towards Nagaland. The bus is going to leave at 4 o'clock. My journey to Nagaland started from Meghalaya, where I had an amazing past 7 days. The vlogs of which you'll be seeing after the Nagaland series. <laughs> I reached Dimapur at 5 in the morning and was pondering if I had to wait till 10 for offices to open so that I could get an ILP. So good morning guys. So you know, there are a lot of a lot of cab drivers couched here near the station who are willing to take me to Kohima without ILP. For all domestic tourists entering Nagaland, ILP is required, which you can get it at the DC office in Dimapur or Nagaland house offices in other states. You can even apply it online, which I had done yesterday on the way here, but it was still in pending state. Luckily, guys, I got the ILP. I had applied it yesterday night while I was on the way to Nagaland so they approved it and I made the payment so I got the ILP online I didn't have to wait till 10 o'clock so I'm heading towards Kohima now I'll get the bus or the shared cab maybe there is a four-lane road being constructed between Dimapur and Kohima and as such the road is full of dust My trip to Nagaland was long overdue. I have always wanted to visit here since a very long time. And what could be better time to explore and understand the beauty of the state and its people than the Hornbill Festival. It took us three hours to reach Kohima from Dimapur. From here I had to go to Kisama, venue of the Hornbill Festival and my campsite for today and tomorrow. Brother, where are you going to get from Kisaba? Kisaba will get from there. There is a taxi stand. 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 You will get from there. There is a taxi stand. There is a taxi stand. So guys, right now I am outside Naga Heritage Village. This is the entrance to the Hanbil Festival. And that is Josma, by the way, I met him on the bus. He's also for Hanbil Festival. My campsite was at a walkable distance from the Naga Heritage Village. While trekking in Meghalaya, I had met some guys. They had helped me with the phone number of the host of this Hornbill campsite called Nomadic Territories. I had booked the tent for two nights with them, 30th November and 1st of December. got freshened up and I am heading towards the Honolulu festival site. Most of the guests are going to arrive tomorrow first because that's when the festival is going to start. So I am going to go outside have lunch. Uncle, Nepali, you are in Nepal? Yes, I'm in Boston. I'm going to go to the Honolulu festival. How तो प्राय आ रही हूँ इंसाल्लाह ये जो साल में कौन दूध दूध के उगाओ नहीं होगी एक के मध्य एक बार मध्य है मेरे सिलगुड़ी था जो तो बोले तय होगा घूमना है को कैसे आज थी ना नागले ना फर्स्ट टाइम आया था आज जो लो बेटर है हम लोग लाइक नाउ आई वांट टू हैव सम फूड यू नो आई हैवन हैड प्रॉपर फूड टुडे 
so I want to try out Naga cuisine. Uh, I don't know if there's any options for veg because I'm completely vegetarian. So let's see what do I get there. After lunch, I'll be heading towards the uh, Hanbil festival site to check what's going on, preparations. Just had my food at Naga kitchen. <laughs> when I told I want to have veg, the lady at the hotel she told me like, you know, in Nagaland we don't get anything veg. Pork, chicken, beef. <laughs> I told you don't have anything vegetarian, <laughs> like noodles. She said fried rice. I just had veg fried rice, it was good with chutney. <laughs> Nagaland is often referred to as the land of festivals since here we can witness festivals of different tribes and sub-tribes throughout the year. And Hornbill is the festival of festivals, celebrated every year from 1st of December to 10th of December. The Naga Heritage Village at Kisama is the venue for the Hornbill festival every year. Thousands from India and abroad come here to witness the cultural extravaganza of Nagaland. The preparations were well underway. I was pretty excited about Hornbill Festival tomorrow and my coming days in Nagaland. A lot of things will be happening at the same time, right? Tomorrow? Probably. Yeah. Maybe, but for the opening program, maybe uh, the other cultural tribes will also be performing. This is like which tribe? This. This is just a food stall. All the maroons and uh, tribal that. So like, you know, uh, how many days are like uh, enough to, you know, because it will go on for 10 days, right? Yes, yes. Every day they will have different programs different. during the day. I mean, during the night, I think just every stall and morning they'll have their own kind of thing. Well, that's how I spent my first day in Nagaland. I knew the coming days would be more awesome and I couldn't wait for it. I was the only guest at the campsite that night because everyone was supposed to arrive tomorrow and the subsequent days. Nevertheless, I had a great time chilling at the camp. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe if you enjoy my content. I'll see you soon in the next episodes of Welcome to Nagaland series. Bye bye. Join me in the next episode as I show you the major attractions, the cultural performances of the major tribes of Nagaland and much more from day 1 and 2 of Hornbill 2021.